In the last couple of years, I've grown multiple websites into 100,000 visitors a month. From HDK to HCP tools to free AI kit to free image AI to promoter kit and today learn with Hassan reached 659,000 new users in the last 12 months targeting 1 million this year. In this video, I will share with you my top 5 strategies to grow any website. If you are ready, let's get started. This video is sponsored by HubSpot. So let's start with number one. Set up your content repurposing machine. Before you publish anything on your website, make sure your content system is ready. For example, in my case, here is my workflow. I publish a blog, into a YouTube video, into a Medium post, into a Twitter thread, into LinkedIn, and sometimes into short videos. So this is my workflow that I follow when I publish any piece of content. So you create once and repurpose on different platforms. And to help you more with this strategy, I have two tips for you. Tip number one, start with only two platforms with your website. For example, when I started, I used only YouTube and Medium with my website. Focus on two and later on you can test and scale with more. The second tip is this awesome free resource from HubSpot, the content marketing planning template. This resource will not only give you the blueprint to have a full content marketing plan for free, but you will also get several other templates and planners to help you get started fast. Starting with the SWOT analysis, you can identify your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. This allows you to understand the good and the bad, and then take action based on that. Plus, you'll see a practical example of how to turn a SWOT analysis into actionable steps. This is super important. Then we move on to defining your buyer persona. Missing this step could make your website and your business rest in peace early. Here, HubSpot not only provides a template, but also offers a tool to help you build the persona easily in just a couple of minutes. Next, it's crucial to define our goals so we can measure the success of our content marketing plan. That's where step three comes in, helping you map your content marketing with your objectives and KPIs. HubSpot even shows an example of how to do this effectively. Then we have planning your content timeline. With the help of other three free templates, HubSpot assists you in creating content plan for your website, complete with timeline and a flow chart. This is very important and will play off in the long run. All these templates and resources is 100% free. The link in the description below. So jump now, download them, and transform how you create content. Thank you HubSpot for supporting my ad-free videos and supporting my audience and my channel. Number two, which is one of my best, which is building online tools. Now, if you go to almost any website, any company, you will see they are developing and adding online tools, free tools on their website. You can see 10 web, even HubSpot. All these are free tools. You can go here to Ahrefs. They have all this set of free tools. My website, you can see all my tools here. Why everyone is building tools? Because simply it works for two reasons. Number one, it's something useful and people will love to use tools to solve a problem. Second, it's easy to rank. Why? Let me show you with this. For example, if you search for hook generator, this keyword, you will see we have rank difficulty of 11 only. So it's easy to rank and we have 2,500 search volume. So what I did when I, show, when I saw this, I went and built the hook generator tool so I can rank fast with this keyword. And you can do the same with any niche. You can just search for tool, keywords, generators, and so on that has good search volume and low difficulty and build the tool. And if you want to learn how I build these tools on WordPress, in case you are new here, you can check my full course in the description below. I show step by step how to build online tools on WordPress. And speaking of 
tools and ranking easily. Here you must mention the new SEO changes. After AI, SEO is changing because today we have AI powered search. For example, we have perplexity AI. You can search here, for example, top 10 microphones. Instead of searching Google one by one, this tool will search different websites and give you the results with the sources. Even, you know, maybe Bing is now powered by AI. Even Google is powered by AI. We have co-pilots. AI is everywhere. So definitely SEO is going to change. Now, I'm not going to predict things here. Honestly, I don't know and do any test yet. I won't waste your time now with some random guesses. But I want you to focus on these four tips to adapt with the upcoming SEO changes. Number one is to keep your site updated. Number two is to focus on mobile and user experience. Number three is to build online tools because tools is not AI generated content. So you can still rank with tools. People will still search for tools instead of just simple content. And number four is if you can publish content about new technologies and new ideas, things you experienced or you did a research about, it's very important. For example, I am ranking today on semantic chunking keyword. You can see number one here on Bing, simply because it's a new concept. I did an intensive research about this topic and published this full guide. This is why I rank directly on top of search engines. Strategy number three is always base your content on real data. And when I say data, I don't mean only databases or data you collected. No, it may be an experience you passed by, something you built yourself, something you did. Just back up your content with your own experience, your own touch, your own data. If you take a look on my blog post, every single blog is based on my own research, my own code my own tests. So I'm sharing real experience, real codes. I'm sharing content based on data, based on experience. This is super important. This is what will make your content unique and make you stand out. For example, build AI powered automated system with topic research with no code. Here, I'm showing how I built this using make, no automation system. It's a full system I built and I show the result and I share the systems with users so i explain how i built it and i share the results another example is how i create ai agents from scratch so i did a research i built an ai agent totally from scratch with python then i share the codes and how i did it with people another example how to create free ai chatbot on wordpress again i built this from scratch and i shared my results and i shared the data i share the codes something valuable this is how people will love your content and make you stand out. Other way to share data is by building libraries. For example, I build the prompt library, the code snippets library, the email subject lines library. So you can collect data and build a data library on your website. So this is the subject lines database here. It's a free, but it's a valuable resource for everyone who wants to send emails. So think about different types of content you can publish based on data. And if you want to learn how I did this, how I built data libraries, you can check my video in the description below. I shared step by step how I do this for free. Strategy number four is communities and forums. And here we have two sub strategies. Number one is to build your own community and your own forum. For example, here on my website, you can see this public free forum with thousands of users engaging almost every day. Here you need to prepare yourself to provide free support. This will pay off in the long term. Now today, a lot of people just join my forum to ask questions, to answer questions, to engage. This will blow your traffic. You can see big companies like Google, they have this Google Groups community, Microsoft, Hundreds of big companies all have forums and discussion groups or maybe Discord channels because it's very important to build trust with people and to boost your traffic and to build and to grow your website. And speaking of forums, don't forget 
anytime you can join us and ask any question i'll be there almost every day to answer your questions the other sub strategy here is to join other communities for example quora or reddit or other forums if you are following me like three four years ago i always mentioned quora and how important it is unfortunately like three years ago i focused on other platforms and i didn't engage on quora anymore but even though till today after three years i still get thousands of views to my answers every week if you open here my profile i get 23,000 views this month 2.9 million content views in total like last week i just come again to quora and i'm starting again because it motivated me to join again and continue i see it's still working till today so join other communities other spaces other groups and try to engage and provide value and people will start to know you yes it's like slow growth but it looks more like the snowball effect it will grow on the long run strategy number five is email email is still the king in 2024 and i think it will be always it has two main advantages over other marketing channels number one you own your list and number two it has the best engagement rate when compared with other social media platforms and other marketing channels here are a few tips to boost your email marketing campaigns number one always segment your lists you can see here i am segmenting my list in detail and number two is to clean your list always you can see here this one called not buyers list i always delete subscribers in this list and i will do it right now in front of you i just select them all select and then delete these are inactive users i don't want them to affect my overall email score they are not engaging so i remove them always like every two weeks i'm somehow strict with this i can cut down my email marketing costs at the same time i increase my open rate up to 50 percent as you can see here so delete and to reach these numbers with email you should focus mainly on subject lines because it is what the user will see and decide to open the email or not so you should focus on subject lines and if you want to learn how i do this how i reach 50 percent open rate on my emails with the power of ai and some other tips you can check this free video here on my channel if you learned something new today don't forget smash the like button if you have any questions i'm waiting for you in the comments section below see you